You are trucking with Prentice. He drives a truck. And he's trying to make that money. Yeah. Trucking with Prentice. Alright, so what's up guys? Uh, we just got, I just got out of the shower. We had a flying day, so my uh, trainer's still taking his shower. Um, we uh, we just got to Utah. Man, we have been running. And we've been running hard. <laughs> We're pretty much just doing the team driving thing. You know, I've been uh, putting in my hours and my trainer's been putting in his like uh, 11 hours of driving. Me, I was on, only able to do like one 11 hour shift so far and then um, some 10 hour shifts. Today I did, I drove for eight hours, no, a little over eight hours, about nine hours today. Um, yeah, nine, ten, because I had two hours left. So yeah, I did like nine hours today. Uh, my driving endurance just isn't at the level of my trainers, obviously, but um, I'm able to like stay out there for a while. My only problem is like, uh, just driving at night, you know, I think I would have like, I would be able to do like a full 11 if I was like mostly, if it was like a lot of day, daylight hours. Um, I'm just getting used to this whole nighttime driving. You know, when I go solo, I'm going to try to avoid doing uh nighttime driving as much as possible. Of course, you can't always avoid, you know, things. Sometimes you, you know, you have to ride it, drive at night. I don't mind like, you know, nighttime once in a while, but like nighttime every night. Uh, no. If I can, if I can uh, help it anyway. Um, so far, I've been trying to get some video footage of us, like the scrapping down process. The first uh, we we have picked up two loads, so, so we're on our second load right now. The first load, I was able to like uh, video some of the, the the stuff early on, but um, one of the guys working there said no uh, videotaping on premises, so uh, so that was that. And uh, so I didn't even try when we um, unloaded that. And then the second load, the lady already told us, don't pull out your phones. <laughs> they had some strict rules at that place. Uh, it was some steel plant or something. So no videotaping that one because it would be nice to be able to show these things. Uh, maybe if I had like a, you know, camera on my, on my person, you know, like a GoPro or something, maybe I'd be able to get it. But yeah, you know, because, um, you know, flatbed was the big part of the thing is this load securement and tarping um and unfortunately i haven't been able to like get those on video but trust me it's a it's a lot of work <laughs> you know um i follow like a few uh flatbedders on youtube and they make it look easy it's not as easy as they make it look you know it's a lot a lot of work you know it's not it's not super hard it's just you know a lot of a lot of stuff a lot of steps you got to go through you know um you know um and then on top of that you got to drive it afterwards but um you know, I like the activity of it, you know, I'm, and I'm learning it, you know, slowly but surely the whole scrapping down process, you know, scrapping things down and knowing when to use what, what methods, you know, um, I, I still have a lot of stuff to learn there, but, um, first load was like a long pipe, I think some water pipe is there something like that. And then the second load is like uh steel coils. So that had like a whole different like scrapping method for each one. Um, yeah, it's been interesting. I mean, always checking out, checking out the, uh, every time I get out of the um, truck for my scratch breaks, I try to do like a walk around the truck, see what everything's looking like. But um, yeah, I don't even know where we're going today. Right? You know, we're gonna be going through uh, Salt Lake City, Utah at some point soonish. And then Wyoming, and then making our way over, over to Georgia. So we'll see what's going down. But um, so far everything's been good. You know, I've been um, getting more comfortable driving this truck. We haven't been practicing any um, backing maneuvers because we've been so busy with just trying to get to places, crossing the country twice. You know, coming out west, and now we're going back out east. So we haven't been, um, he told me that, we, you know, when it's a little bit slower, we'll be practicing some um, backing maneuvers. So I'm looking forward to that. We're going to be practicing in like truck stops. So yeah, other than that, you know, um, it's been going good. It's a good, also it's a good sign that um, my trainer trusts me enough that he goes to sleep um, 
when I'm driving at night. <laughs> or at least, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm, I don't know if he has deep sleep or anything. I mean, he sleeps with one eye open, but it's a good sign because, you know, the first night was probably his worst sleep night, you know. Obviously, as like a new trainee, you know, you, you know, me anyway, you know, you know, you can't really fall asleep until you know actually you know what my driving is at with these trucks so it's good enough that my trainer goes to sleep while i'm driving so that's a good thing <laughs> making improvements truck apprentice peace talk to y'all later